and I'm back. It's been a busy past few months buying a home and we just had twins and it's been hard to find the time to make videos, but I have a new tutorial today. We're going to be learning how to make masking transitions in LumaFusion on your iPad and I'm gonna show you what they look like. Here we go. Okay, the first thing that you wanna do is open up LumaFusion. When you're in LumaFusion, you wanna lay out your footage. So down here, you can open up a new project and then lay out all the footage that you're gonna use in your timeline and get it just the way that you want it. Next, we need to find the clip where you're gonna apply your mass transition. So what you wanna do is you wanna find a foreground element there's gonna be a tree that's going to cover him. And when the tree passes, I want him to be in a new location. So we're gonna use a mass transition to do that. So find the clip that has that nice foreground object that blocks out the entire frame of the video. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy it into a new project to do this transition. LumaFusion doesn't currently support masking, but there is a workaround and it's pretty simple. So let me show you how to do that. You're gonna to wanna to hit Control C on your keyboard to copy this clip. Or if you're not using a keyboard, you can hit this clipboard icon and just hit copy. Then come over here, open up a new project. We'll just call this project masked clip and once you're good to go hit command V or the clipboard and hit paste once this clip is in here you're going to want to find the part where you're going to start your mass transition and that's about right where the tree is going to come into frame here um, we'll just select it anywhere so we can see the tree and the empty spot which is going to we're going to replace with a new video Right here, this plus icon down at the bottom, you're going to hit overlay title. You can go ahead and shrink that clip to the end of your uh, clip that you imported in there. And then we're going to hit edit. The first thing we need to do is get rid of this title and we are going to add a rectangle shape. Go ahead and make this rectangle shape bigger than the screen. Make it nice and big so that it covers your entire video clip. And we're going to change the face color to green. And once we have that, now we need to animate this green square to follow the tree all the way across the screen. What we're going to do is we're gonna use a key to key out the green color, erasing that part of your clip. So this is how you can do masking in LumaFusion. You're gonna to want to go to Frame and Fit. Once you're there, you can drag this, make sure you're at the beginning of that clip down here, and then you're gonna drag this rectangle. You're gonna drag this rectangle till it covers that tree. And we're gonna add just a slight bit of rotation to match that tree and drag it right to the edge. You can also come into cropping, give it just a hair of edge softness. Okay, once we get there, we're going to keyframe this green square all the way across the screen. And the way that you make a keyframe is you hit this plus icon down in the bottom corner. And then we're going to hit the track forward button and we're just going to match this you're just going to keep doing this until you get it all the way across the screen and you're done with that. So we can hit back up here. And what you're going to see is you're gonna see this green square follow the tree across the screen. You can see that we missed a little bit of the tree, so we just need to make this title a little bit longer. So just grab it and 
drag it to the edge there. And then we just need to go back in and adjust that mass for the beginning. So we'll just drag it back just a little bit. There we go. And now our mass should be good to go. That green's gonna follow it across the screen. Once you're done with that, you're going to export it. So down here, hit share, hit movie, photos. Go ahead and export it. Once that's done, go back to your original project. Go ahead and delete the clip that you've already made with the mask. So now we have our fisherman walking up to the pond, which is where we want to transition from the area in the forest. So we're just going to go to our files and photos. There's our new masked clip. We'll drag it down right on top of the footage. And all we need to do is add the key effect. So go ahead and go back to edit. Down here, you can select effects, choose the key icon and choose the green screen. Now, when we drag this clip along, you're going to see it reveal our fisherman at the pond. Okay, let's check it out. We'll see how it looks. And there it is, mass transitions in LumaFusion on an iPad. Make sure you like this video and subscribe so that I can help you make better videos. There'll be more videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.